Oh my God, Cherry, where have you been? What are you up to? <laughs> Healing. <laughs> Hello family, my name is Miss Cherry. Welcome to my channel. I am a divine feminine giving you channel messages. If you like the videos, please like and subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to see more of my videos. And always remember, be good to yourself, but most of all, be blessed. Mwah. Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I am excited today. Um, maybe a little too excited, okay? Because I'm going to be able to do something I've been wanting to do to let off some steam. Of course, I was nervous. I feel bad for their face. Shit. <laughs> so I had to prepare my mind mentally because I had to put in some thoughts okay it was a lot of things that was going on and me being um not only now a single mother but currently going through a separation i wanted to release some things <laughs> that i have been dealing with for i don't know a decade <laughs> just relationships so I had to look at things from a different perspective, um, me being a mother with a child. So I had to take proper precaution into protecting myself. And my child. So let's go for a ride guys, cause we gonna do this. major points you hear me <laughs> it was just definitely time um just being a woman who have been in domestic violence um <clears throat> currently uh, experienced so much uh backlash about who i am so what i'm doing here on this channel is to show all of my divine feminines that you know it doesn't have to be one woman as the queen but you yourself is a queen so you do not have to settle for less Trying to hit the dick, you see how that happened? Yeah. yeah. See what cheating do? <laughs> Look how close I got to the X though. You see it? Yeah. You see how close I got to the X? Yeah. Yeah. Got close? Yeah. Show it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had so much fun. <laughs> So I did close range, mid range, and long range. I wanted to do long range because um, the short and the mid range was too easy. And I wanted to prepare myself in case if there was ever a situation where my child was kidnapped for me and I was in a position to put whoever the person did the kidnapping down so I wanted to fully make sure that whatever I chose to do however I shoot I was going to protect my child by any means This right here, though, that's execution. Yeah, yeah headshot, yeah. Execution style shot. Yeah. From afar, shot mm -hmm. I had so much fun. Oh my God. I will do it over and over and over and over again. I had fun. Maybe a little bit too much fun. You know? <laughs> but I thank God that he has put me in position that not only the the one thing that I was truly afraid of um just being a new mom um because as a mother we make promises to our children and we say that we're always going to protect them but never in a million years that we find ourselves protecting our babies from people that we know um let alone a stranger so Definitely, I would do it again. Um, hopefully, I wouldn't have to take nobody out. One of the main reasons why um, I truly believe in um, protecting yourself, or what we like to say, the right to bear arms, is because as a mother and as a single mother, um, you have to protect your surroundings and it's always someone who is out there to want to harm someone who's definitely in a feminine energy who comes off very very sweet and passionate so you know eventually i had to get to the point where those things have been completely stripped for me <laughs> i'll cry about it but once i cry about it duck. <laughs> i'm just playing but um for the most part, um, I try to make peace with everything that I have ever encountered with to move forward in the society that we live in. Just because you moved on, that don't mean that they have. And um, some people have their own ill intentions and they do not like to leave things behind the closed doors or leave them those particular things in the bedroom with the full understanding of knowing what was going on. So they rather strip everything about you away. And that has happened um, to the point where um, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? So I had to put on my crown and to get it done. You know what I'm saying? Being beautiful, with confidence is a major threat to insecure men, you know, um, or whatever your preferences is. So um, I have encountered people um, more so the opposite sex um, where they have tried to either use me as a pawn and that is not what I'm raising my son to be. I'm not raising him to disrespect women. So um, as a woman who is firmly confident with 
myself i am not going to let anyone disrespect me by any means necessary i think that's why i have always been into universal laws um especially ever since i had my son um just living by those things the best way i know how not saying that i never made a mistake because we all make mistakes um especially women we put our trust into the wrong people um they try to mistreat you you remove yourself out there so they want revenge all of it is psychology to me so i don't let that type of stuff get to me um it's all part of universal law it was supposed to karmatically happen i'm the runner of my own life i'm the owner of my life and i know nobody's gonna come save me but me <laughs> so it is what it is